I took a picture or not. <clears throat> kind of like a video. I'm taking pictures of everything that I have. This is all my paints and powders and paints. This is all my beads, uh, rhinestones. Um, these are all my saved and washed tin cans for mixing epoxy. Um, and the lids for future art projects and all my silicones that I've bought. And oh my god, look at all the silicones I've made though. Like, I have a jade one. This one came out pretty good. Um, this has three insects on it. Like, so that really speeds up production. And I got this one now. Uh, this is the grasshopper. That's the grasshopper that I'm working on. And I have the dragon um, that you just saw, but I also have the deer. That deer is from here. Um, I did that. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. This butterfly is perfect. This is the stuff you want to get. I'm buying some more so I can make a little commercial, a little ad about it, but this is the one you want right here a lot less work with filing <clears throat> after the product is done compared to the runner-up only because of the cost is that much cheaper but with this one this the uh, i'll show you later but i just have too many failures and it's i was inexperienced anyways so it's a good starter you have to start with something that is okay because I learned how to make dragons out of pieces even after they broke now, which I didn't know before. But um, it's a good starter one. Don't spend a lot of money on a white, clear, translucent um, silicone for making molds. I would, if you're pretty sure of yourself, which, see, I had to learn. Um, if you're pretty sure of yourself... <laughs> Go right to the blue but this is this is to me this is the quality I'm looking for in a silicone mold um, it does exactly what it's supposed to do and you can fit your pieces it's just really aggravating to have to work around them this one was okay too but um, not as solid I would say just not as as solid and it's not that it needed like thicker or more. It's just the the lines around are cleaner and cleanest on the blue. The lines around every single detail. So it matters like this one came out pretty clear, but I lost the nib, which is like right here. Uh, I lost a nib in one of them. So this will always when it. Uh, I have to babysit the epoxy while it's curing because of this one little nib and I did try gluing it and that just ripped right out. So uh, so this one will have to be made again in the blue. Everything is becoming back into the blue. Although this one is a really great one. This one, as long as I don't go to try to overfill it, um, it will give me a good piece that I can work with. Um, and sometimes for the finer, finer, because it's so tiny, like sometimes I do have to file to get um, a clear hold from an, on a joint that has to happen. And this one clears it up a little bit more, but like I said, the blue one, this one is the one, man. It's fun making pieces that you don't have to be afraid um, that's going to break when you take it out, number one. Number two, like the shape is gonna pull away and then the mold looks like used every time you use it it gets more and more used that blue will stick there that that that'll go through a lot of times of um epoxy cures i can't quite talk right now okay my fire isn't done yet and it feels really soft like it's pliable but it's not ready to come out. Well, it could, I guess. But it, it's... Oh, maybe I should curve it. Hey, look at this. Wait, I gotta stick my phone up here. I'm gonna do this right. I'm sorry, this might take some time. 
I'm not coordinated at anything. 